Hello everyone welcome to Dini's Gaming today we will talk about all the details about GTA 6 release date. News and rumors so far. Let's get right into the video. Credit goes to Dan Dawkins, the author of the article. GTA 6 hasn't been officially announced yet, but the rumors are coming in thick and fast now. It's not a huge surprise either. Seeing as GTA 5 and its associated online multiplayer component, GTA Online, continue to be one of the most played and most purchased games of all time, making a sequel basically inevitable. The latest gossip is that the GTA 6 release date will be sometime in 2025. That comes with the tip that the game is set in a modern-day version of Vice City that will expand and change over time. That goes against earlier rumors that stated GTA 6 could launch in October 2023 and be set in Miami. That's from a dubious online source though. But additional details from that leak including a single, male protagonist, with the game being set in the 1970s, with a chaptered story like Red Dead Redemption 2. Combine that with Rockstar teasing fans with the official Rockstar support account is telling us to stay tuned for GTA 6 updates on Twitter and it just keeps getting more exciting, according to a Kotaku report. A new entry in the Grand Theft Auto series is early in development as of April 2020. That report also suggested we can expect to see a smaller launch, with the game expanded through updates in the manner of an MMO or GTA Online. The development timing means expecting the game to be a PS5 and Xbox Series X title is a sure bet. And the release of a remastered GTA 5 for PS5 in 2021 suggests we could be waiting till at least 2022 for GTA 6. GTA 6 Project America's Leak GTA 6 may have a modern-day setting. A new leak has emerged that suggests GTA 6 is going to stick with a modern-day setting. Tom Henderson a tipster with a great track record, including accurately leaking information about Battlefield 6 and Call of Duty, has stated that GTA 6 will be set in the modern day, rather than the 1980s setting that had been previously suggested. When asked by someone on Twitter, Henderson retweeted their question and simply said it's not set in the 1980s and is modern. This 2020 GTA 6 leak has a ton of new information that might be true. Take all this information with a pinch of salt, Make that two pinches, actually, since the game is reportedly very early in development, but the latest alleged GTA 6 leak comes from Reddit. User Jacko Lantern 1982 relayed a grand total of 23 details about Rockstar's upcoming game, as well as confirming that it's in development. They say that its codename is Project Americas as the game will take place over multiple countries, namely, Brazil in a fictional city based on Rio de Janeiro and Vice City in the US. Heavily influenced by Netflix's Narcos which is a phenomenal series about the origins of the cocaine trade. Edited for clarity. Along with details from a separate potential leak on Fired. The next GTA title has been in development since 2012. But production didn't begin properly until 2015. But even then the team was focusing more on Red Dead Redemption 2. It's another Rockstar Worldwide production. Codename is Project Americas, set in both Vice City and a new fictional location based on Rio de Janeiro. Some linear missions take place in Liberty City. But it isn't an open world think Ludendorff in GTA 5. Game will balance realism and arcade and it won't be as realistic as Red Dead Redemption 2. One playable protagonist. Male, not female, despite supposed leaks. Set in 1970s-80s, you play as an up-and-coming drug lord wannabe named Ricardo. Another key character called Casey is a part of the narrative. You start off as a grunt doing runs as a cocaine smuggler from Vice City to the new large South American area before making connections with big-time drug lords and making your way up. Multiple cities. There will also be a giant prison which will play a part in the game. Will feature a chapter system similar to a Tarantino flick or Red Dead Redemption 2. Weather is a heavy focus, hurricanes and floods will be present. Buildings change over the eras. Vehicles too? So older, rare classic cars get more expensive as time progresses and includes full economy. Heavily inspired by Netflix's Narcos, they want to have an incredible 1970s, 1980s soundtrack. A younger Martin Madrazo will make an appearance as will his father who is a big drug lord at the time. You do some missions for the Madrazo family involving hits on other gangs. Drug Empire Building is a mechanic similar to Vice City Stories but bigger. Think the GTA Online system and dial it up to 10. You can only have weapons on your person, no arsenal in your back pocket. Like Red Dead Redemption 2. Your personal vehicle will be like your horse saddle in Red Dead Redemption 2. All your equipment is stored in the trunk. You also store your body armor in the car. If you wear it, 
It appears, no longer just an invisible thing. There will be tons of subtitle reading. Think Max Payne 3 amounts, very immersive. Like watching an episode of Narcos. Whenever you're in South America, don't expect to hear much English. Vice City however is a mix of everything, but mostly English. Last bit of narrative info. It will discuss topics such as HIV and the immigration crisis of the time. A fictional version of Fidel Castro etc. Next gen only, not PS4 or Xbox One. GTA 6 is now their primary focus. Alongside another title. Game is still in pre-alpha so names. Locations, details could and probably will change. No ETO on a release date. And here's the leaks from Fireden. Edited for clarity too. The game is set in modern day Liberty City. The beginning of the game is reminiscent of The Wire. Police officers are trying to crack down on a gang, drug ring based around a nightclub. There are four main characters, two police and two gang members. The plot then twists and goes to upstate New York, where it becomes more crime noir. Think Ozark and Breaking Bad. It will have twice the amount of dialogue as GTA 5 and a really crazy plot twist. The main storyline splits after a while. The criminal side has sort of a sandbox build a crime empire thing while the police side is more of a traditional action game with a little twist of Lenoir. Earliest release is Holiday 2021, but I would guess later. 2022 or 2023. What has Rockstar said about GTA 6 on the record? Rockstar North's former president teased the next series entry back in 2013 in a four-part interview with Develop Magazine, which got the online rumor mill started. We don't know what GTA 6 will be, but we've got some ideas, said Benzies in the interview. We've got about 45 years worth of ideas we want to do. We'll pick the right ones. It comes from the idea first. Where it is going to be set is the first question. That then defines the missions. You're doing different things in Levin in New York or Miami. The map and story get worked up together. And the story is a basic flow of how it works out so you can layer the mission in. Of course, Benzies didn't give much away about what form GTA 6 will take and recently left Rockstar North in fairly acrimonious circumstances. However, it's unlikely that Rockstar will rip up the GTA series tried and tested development process, where building a world comes first with characters and structures layered on top. GTA 5 was created by 1,000 plus developers based across studios worldwide, so it'd be a brave move to change the template. In fact, it's probable the location is already set. We spoke to a software provider at E3 2015, speaking under discretion, who suggested work on GTA 6 was already well underway. How the Fermi problem might help us make more educated predictions. Truthfully, nobody outside Rockstar North and their cast iron NDIs knows anything about GTA 6. But using historical precedents and an estimation technique called the Fermi problem, we can establish a more credible outline. What's the Fermi problem? The term was recently popularized in the book Super Forecasting, prefaced by the question, how many piano tuners are in Chicago? Without Google searching for the answer, it doesn't sound like the sort of thing anyone would know by heart, but your approach to tackling the question reveals a lot about the potential accuracy of the prediction. In short, it's possible to chunk the question into more estimable parts for example, What's my guess at the population of Chicago? On average how many people are in each house? How many houses might own pianos? How often do they need tuning? A logical mind might land upon a figure of 200 minus 300 piano tuners. The actual answer is 290. So, while GTA 6 is unknown, it is not composed of unknowables. You can apply historical precedent, personal insight, snippets of interviews, CV searches and an overlay of societal and technology, trends, to form a clearer picture. Predicting GTA 6 isn't a pure Fermi problem, in that it isn't a solely quantitative issue, but the structural approach is relevant. When will the GTA 6 release date be? Long story short, if Rockstar had announced GTA 6 the day after Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, then based on historical delays between console GTA announcements and release, we'd be waiting around 22 months, so August 2020. Of course, Rockstar didn't do that. It didn't do anything. In fact, so all we have to go on is word that GTA 6 was early in development as of April 2020. That makes it difficult to predict any sort of release window. But we may at least hear about the game by the end of 2021, with a potential release in 2022. 
It is. Of course, entirely possible Rockstar that might try to minimize the window between announcement and release. But that runs contrary to everything we know about pre-release hype cycles and the drive for pre-orders. As physical stores continue to decline, however, a surprise digital release remains a more viable, if absurdly bold, consideration. Where will GTA 6 be set? Didn't the former Rockstar North president once talk about a GTA world? There are a number of wild rumors, which we will address in due course, but let's start with some historical insight. So far, GTA games have been set in the following locations. Liberty City in GTA 3, GTA 4, Lost and Damned, and The Ballad of Gay Tony. Vice City in GTA Vice City. San Andreas and Los Santos in GTA San Andreas and GTA 5. If history was to repeat, Vice City or Liberty City feel like the most likely candidates for a return. But it's possible the game will explore new locations, which feels likelier in light of expectations set by GTA Online. The world won't get smaller. Speaking to Rockstar's Leslie Benzies in 2013, via the YouTube GTA show GTA 5 O'Clock, he stated that the ambition for GTA Online was to grow this world until it's the world. We're just going to add on new things to it. New places all the time. Five years on, it's clear that GTA Online hasn't followed this path, with the recent Doomsday Heist proving one of the most significant updates in years. But only adding interior locations, missions and vehicles, not new states or countries. Leslie Benzies left Rockstar North officially in January 2016, but has been on extended period of leave for most of the prior 17 months. So it's fair to assume his influence was less critical from mid-2014 onwards. However, it's worth considering how much of what Benzies claimed in 2013 remains true. The only limitation is the size of the disc and how much memory we've got. We could, if we wanted, simulate the entire world, different countries, whatever. Rockstar might revisit familiar locations first. He claimed, whether we do that or not. But we've got a bunch of old stuff that we're toying with using. Vice City, Liberty City and Alderney are obvious candidates, but have yet to materialize. Back in December 2012, Benzies had linked Vice City to the concept of a GTA world. In an interview with Digital Trends, of course at some point we would like to have one big world containing all our cities and let the player fly between them and revisit their favorite areas. And in that context reimagining Vice City would be very interesting. Will GTA 6 be exclusive to the PS5 and Xbox Series X? Potentially. But it'll definitely be a next-gen title, with the life cycle of both the PS4 and Xbox One basically coming to an end. It's looking more and more likely that GTA 6 will be a next-gen release. It may well do a bit of a GTA 5 and release on PS4 and Xbox One at the same time as the new consoles. But all the focus should be on optimizing for whatever hardware beasts Sony and Microsoft pull out of the bag. Will there be a GTA 6 PC release? GTA 5 and GTA 4 both eventually made their way to PC. So you'd hope that a GTA 6 PC port is in the cards. It may not have a simultaneous launch, but that extra bit of polish and development time has paid off so far. So hopefully PC fans are willing to wait a little bit again. GTA 6 rumors, which are the most credible so far. A futuristic storyline. There was a rumor, fan fantasy that GTA 6 second storyline will be more sci-fi than other games in the series, with one of the game's mechanics allowing time travel. According to a report by Christian today, yes, there have been strange subquests in GTA games before, but none quite as unrealistic as time travel. Christian today, which doesn't name its source, but it suggests that teleportation will be possible within a split second. Specific time periods aren't mentioned, but it might be that you're rewinding time to previous moments in the hero's storyline. Could it happen? A story told across time periods. Maybe. Time travel. Highly doubtful. GTA has traditionally opted for a more grounded take on supernatural phenomena. At least until the Edge of Reality GTA Online update The Doomsday Heist which featured flying cars and orbital lasers. Otherwise, the series has been more circumspect. GTA San Andreas Jetpack was retrieved from the game's version of Area 51 and accessible only very late in the game. GTA 5's slightly daft 
UFO Easter eggs are curious outside the core story. Every game in the series is consistent within its time period, with realism key to the game's storyline. It's worth noting that teleportation already is in GTA 5 of a kind, but using a mechanic consistent with its story. The decision to use three playable characters was, in part, a way to allow players to fast travel across its huge map. Without resorting to mysticism or wormholes, Rockstar told YouTube show GTA 5 o'clock, a game set across the entire USA. There are fan theories that GTA 6 is going to feature a map that encompasses all 52 of the North American states, rather than one single city. If the game was set across all 52 states, teleportation could come in handy for your protagonist, so you could be whiz across state lines, rather than zipping between time periods. Fans and bloggers claim GTA 6 may use similar mechanics to that of Ubisoft's driving game The Crew, which spanned the whole country by placing key cities side by side. Could it happen? It sounds entirely plausible that the scale of the game will increase, perhaps with known locations like Los Santos, Liberty City and Vice City, or to encompass more states or global cities. It's more likely that the player would fast travel by plane or by swapping between characters as in GTA 5. A convenient way to shortcut the player between locations without compromising realism. A return to London. Reports of a London setting for GTA 6 originated via Rockstar Games, putting the next game potentially right on the doorstep of its own studio. Rockstar co-founder Dan Hauser said the following back in September 2013 in an interview with Polygon. At the moment, it feels like GTI's DNA is contemporary-ish, American-ish. English speaking ish, because that's what it has been. But that doesn't necessarily limit it to those, that's just what we've done so far. This led many to speculate that GTA may be seeking outside inspiration, or even returning to the UK. However, Hauser also said that GTA wouldn't return to London in an interview with The Guardian that very same month. I think for us, my gut feeling is GTA London was cool for the time, but games were more limited then said Hauser. These days I think we would love to set a game in the UK. Set in London, whatever. But I don't know if it would be a GTA game. I think there are plenty of great stories we could tell about the UK. Great environments to showcase. Great gameplay mechanics that could have a UK bent to them. I just don't think it would be a GTA necessarily. Could it happen? Potentially. Not only is London home to Rockstar's publishing office, but it's also an area that the studio has visited before with the appropriately named Grand Theft Auto, London, 1869. While Hauser might have doubted London's viability back in 2013, a number of cultural, political and world events might have placed it back on the radar, including Brexit, radical terrorism, high finance, Russian non-domiciles and fake news. A world run by algorithms, however, Given the size of GTI's US audience, it feels like a potentially alienating move, and we'd speculate that London would only appear as part of a wider global collection of cities. Tokyo According to a source speaking to Tech Radar back in March 2016, Rockstar visited the Japanese capital as a reference trip for a game entitled GTI Tokyo several years ago. Apparently the idea for the game was eventually pulled, but before that the studio met up with locals took a ton of pictures and wanted to get a good feel for the city before embarking on that particular gaming journey. The source stated that Rockstar was serious about a game with a Japanese setting, and even went as far as to trademark the names GTA Tokyo GTA Bogota and also mysteriously GTA Sin City back in 2003. That was around the time of GTA 3 and Vice City. But the road system was seen as a problem and was just one of the reasons why the idea was eventually abandoned. Could it happen? If GTA was to move away from the US, it would be a big deal for the series. And not just because Rockstar has set up a number of series staples, like brands, restaurants and fake car manufacturers, that would all have to be redesigned for a Far Eastern setting. You have to admit though, it would look awesome. How Rockstar design maps and what that might mean for GTA 6. Aaron Garbutt Art director revealed Rockstar North's approach to world building during an interview with Develop in 2013. We do a lot of Googling and street view scoping, he says. And some of us, Sam, Dan, Les and I, 
tend to meet up in the places we are being inspired by and drive around those places and have random chats. After that we have 6 to 8 people on the design for around 9 months to a year. At that point we have a pretty solid blocked in map. We treat the cities like a sculpture and make sure that perspectives down streets look right. And we also make sure that it has the areas we need, both in terms of missions and as a city. What does all this mean for GTA 6? Garba talks about how the team spent up to 4 years in a virtual place. With reference to the creation of GTA 5, Los Santos was the largest game world in the series so far. And you can see all the previous GTA maps compared here. If GTA 6 is trying to replicate all 52 US states, or even a series of cities, regions of comparable size to Los Santos. That sounds like a lot of preparation work, provided Rockstar are working in the same way. Rockstar North are currently recruiting an environmental terrain artist to create next-generation worlds for exciting upcoming projects, which could be any game, but the ambiguity is deliberate. We estimated a potential 83-month gap between GTA 5 and GTA 6, and that would tally with a world double the size of Los Santos. Although this accrued approximation and the time could have been spent in all manner of other ways. For example, what if GTA 6 wasn't about scale, but depth? GTA 4 was a smaller, richer game than GTA San Andreas, for example, as Rockstar took advantage of the leap from PS2 to PS3. Advances in AI, conversation, destructible environments, interiors, time and weather cycles would be much more exciting than raw scale. But that's another conversation. Will we finally get a female star as one of the GTA 6 characters? Logic and growing social and political momentum suggests that at least one of the playable characters in GTA 6 will be a woman. In GTA 5, you play as three male protagonists, Trevor, Michael and Franklin, but although there were key female side characters, you never got to play as one. When asked about this in 2013, Rockstar co-founder and GTA lead writer Dan Hauser told The Guardian that the team didn't really think about it this time. That's not to say that we couldn't or we wouldn't. This character set is just what came to us. It wasn't, we've got X and Y so we need Z. We weren't trying to do it off a checklist. I don't think that will ever give you something that's believable or engaging. In the future, could we do a game with a female lead? Of course, we just haven't found the right game for it yet, but it's one of the things that we always think about. It didn't feel natural for this game but definitely for the right game in the future. With the right themes, it could be fantastic. But for GTA 5, this was the organic thing that came up. These were the characters that would display the themes we wanted to think about. Could it happen? Absolutely. Rockstar are never ones to shy from controversy. As if representing 50% of the human race as a playable character could be considered controversial. And there's growing social momentum for a female lead character. However, we'd be surprised if the series didn't offer male players too, based on the multi-character model of GTA 5. Wild guess. GTA 6's first trailer will suggest that you play solely as a female character, effectively throwing a hornet's nest into less progressive online communities, before revealing multiple characters down the line. GTA 6 to feature multiple protagonists, with a twist, Another GTA 6 fan theory suggests we'll have multiple protagonists with a twist. Imagine a cops versus robbers scenario, where one of your playable characters is a police officer, while the other is a criminal. Where did this fan theory begin? Most likely from the GTA Reddit boards and fans who roleplay as cops in GTA Online. But it's also a theory I'd thrown around during an early episode of GTA 5 O'Clock, since it would allow Rockstar to explore gray area morality with no clear heroes or villains. Red Dead Redemption 2 has only one playable character, Arthur Morgan, rather than the multiple protagonist of GTA 5. Is this important for GTA 6? Not necessarily, claimed the developer. We liked the Switch system in GTA 5 and we had a lot of fun with it. Rockstar told Jukesic2.com. Maybe we will do it again with another game, but in Red Dead Redemption 2. You are this man and you will share his adventure. Could it happen? Potentially. We'd love to see a protagonist option for GTA 6 and there's rich storytelling potential in replaying events from multiple perspectives. Even if this isn't as novel as it once seemed. GTA 6 VR. What are the chances? According to rumors circulating in online forums citing sources in the know. GTA 6 will arrive with full support for virtual reality. No. That's not just a few missions to play in VR, but rather the entire game. 
all are resident evil 7 could it happen virtual reality hasn't quite taken off in the way that everyone expected and technical challenges aside it feels like a gigantic financial gamble to aim for such a limited user base. In August 2017, Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick expressed skepticism around VR, claiming AR was a much more viable alternative in the long term. The concerns I raised regarding VR are not applicable to AR, Zelnick said. In order to have an AR experience, you don't necessarily have to wear glasses or a headset. You're not burdened by being in a particular location, and the discomfort factor doesn't exist, necessarily. However, it's hard not to see, LA Noir the VR case files for HTC Vive is a form of test case. And we openly wondered what it might mean for GTA when we previewed Rockstar's Crime Noir in late 2017. Best case, GTA 6 might follow the same line as the VR version of LA Noir, which offers players seven of the game's missions rebuilt especially for VR. However, ignoring VR entirely, or opting for AR sounds more likely. Putting it all together, What's our best guess for Grand Theft Auto 6? Combining the most credible puzzle pieces into a single prediction, GTA 6 will launch on a new hardware generation in late 2020 or beyond. Set across multiple locations with multiple playable characters, and at least one female lead, GTA 6 will essentially be a shell for GTA Online's rebirth on new hardware, moving the audience from one platform to another. A story element will be retained, on account of the potential outcry at launching a game that acted solely as an online playground, but this may, at a stretch, be delivered as a single-player, online hybrid, much like the story component of GTA Online's recent The Doomsday Heist. You cannot overstate the success of GTA Online, which had its biggest year yet in 2017, with record numbers of players in December. According to Take-Two's recent earnings call in February 2018, GTA 5 has now sold over 90 million copies, but GTA Online continues to be the key revenue driver, with earnings to date estimated at $1.9 billion in July 2017. According to analyst Superdata, follow the money, as they say in the wire, and GTA 6 can only be an online play. Thematically, GTA 6 will likely tackle global issues of inequality, immigration, terrorism, fake news, the rise of autocratic leadership and extreme partisan politics. Technologically, a full leap into VR seems improbable, but don't rule out VR. AR experiments. A more interesting technical leap might be to migrate the game's online community from platforms to a form of console-agnostic cloud server. But GTA 6 may still be too early for this to become reality. Visually, you can benchmark the leap from GTA San Andreas to GTA 4, or look to the work of the PC GTA 5 modding community, and the incredible GTA Redux real-life mod. GTA 6's real advances might be in behavioral AI, dynamic time and weather cycles, permanently deformable environments and player stat tracking. Thanks for watching this video to the end. If you liked this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe not to miss another video. Good luck to you and as always have a good day.